Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and it must be seafood week. I did shrimp yesterday. Today I'm gonna do some mahi-mahi. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all, I'm back. I got my fish out of the pack, cut them into portion sizes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, Heaven Made Products It's Incredible on there to kind of dry brine it a little bit. It's got a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, onion, other seasonings. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that while we're mixing up our marinade. Just gonna let this sit on there. I said, kind of dry brine for a few minutes. I'm gonna put this over to the side while we make our sauce. And this is, uh, I'm gonna put this marinade in the bag when we sous vide it. I still got my uh, uh, boneless beef short ribs in the sous vide bath, cooking at 131. They've been in there for 24 hours already. A little over that so I still got a big tub of water that I can just drop this fish in for 30 minutes at 131 so uh, just works out real convenient and cook two things at once in my in my uh, sous vide container there so but I'm gonna put some marinade in the bag and I'm gonna use my Avid Armor vacuum sealer to uh, pulse vac so we can keep the marinade in the bag with it so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce here um, I'm going to use a little bit of it's Frank's spicy sweet chili sauce. It's kind of like a Thai chili sauce, and I love this stuff. I mean, I've, I've, I use it all the time. I've got about seven bottles of it in my cabinet. But this is about a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce here. Here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up this Frank's spicy chili sauce and we're going to use probably three or four tablespoons just enough to kind of thicken it up this is going to give us some more sweetness and um, a little spice do about a teaspoon of allspice And maybe just a little bit more than a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of ginger. And then I'm going to do just a little bit more garlic. Probably about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then I'm going to mix that up. And then I'm going to give it a taste and see how it's doing. And we're going to cook this in with the fish and then when we take the uh, fish out of the bag we're going to um, take this sauce and we're going to let it reduce down and get really thick and then we're going to pour it back over the sauce uh, over the fish after we uh, give it a hit with a torch let's see how that is not bad got a nice little kick from the teriyaki and a kick from that Frank's sauce Nice and little sweet, a little heat, a little garlic, a little ginger, a little allspice. And I think that's it. All right, guys, I'll be back. We'll be putting it in the bag and throwing it in the sous vide. So I'll be right back. All right, all, I got my uh, fish ready to go in the bag. And I'm just going to take a good size vacuum sealer bag. And we're just going to lay it in flat. And then we're going to dump the marinade in the bag and just kind of make sure it gets um, in contact with the fish really good. You want to put these in in a single layer. Don't want to uh, have any issues with them getting cooked through. We're only going to put them in the uh, sous vide bath for like um, 30 minutes so it's not going to be a long time. So now I'm going to dump my marinade in. Just be real careful that it doesn't come spilling out.
Okay. Just gonna hold that up. Then we're gonna put it on the in the uh, vacuum sealer and toss it right in the sous vide. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pulse function on the Avid Armor vacuum sealer to uh, help with getting this. Uh, all vacuum sealed up with the liquid in it and it works perfect and then we're going to toss it in this uh, bath that's already ready at 131 it's got my short ribs in it and we're going to 30 minutes and they'll be done all right all i got the uh, fish out of the sous vide and i'm going to go ahead and put it on the rack get the uh, marinade out of the bag put it in the pan we're going to reduce it down so let me get that going and i'll be back all right all i'm going to let this uh, simmer on medium high heat so we can get it down, reduced down a little bit. Want it a little thicker than that when we pour it on the uh, mahi mahi. So take about three or four minutes for that to simmer down. We'll be back. All right, guys. Well, while that sauce is simmering, we're going to go ahead and take my butane torch here, and we're going to toast up the uh, fish. Just get it a nice, uh, you know, brown color on the top. I'm not really going to sear it or anything. It's kind of too tender and fragile to do that so we're just going to hit it with the torch for a bit and we'll be done in a minute I'm going to get our sauce and I'm going to take put some right on this one here just going to drizzle it I'm going to let each person put their own sauce on I'm not going to put it on everyone because some people might not want sauce that smells amazing. I'm going to take a little bite here. Mm, nice and flaky. Take a look at that. Nice and flaky. Mmm. Well, that turned out really nice. Wow. Got that kick of that um, sauce there from the uh, Frank's. Uh, Spicy chili sauce. Mmm. That is nice. I got a bone, but hey. Check it out, guys. Try some fish. Do it sous vide. Mmm. I'm going to get another piece. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Join us, join us on our Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.